This is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and in this video, I'm going to show you the very first cigar box guitar I ever built and to talk about string height. I also want to do a shout out to Kirk, who bought a guitar from me a few days ago and also changed out a lot of doors in his house, and he brought me these. They're like gold. Thank you again, Kirk. Well, here it is. This is number one, the first cigar box guitar I ever built. It's right here. Now a quick word from our sponsor, Cigar Box Guitars. What are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell notification too. Now back to the video. This was from a kit that I bought from CB Giddy. And it comes with uh, the box and all the hardware. The only thing you have to buy is the neck wood. I'm just going to show you the neck on this thing. I don't know if I can pick it up here. I did not shape the neck at all. So when you're playing it, it's like you're just holding on to a square piece of wood. Because that's what you were doing, holding on to a square piece of wood. The action is insanely high it's like 10 11 millimeters at the 12th fret i believe really high and the reason it is so high is this look at the neck it's even with the top of the box that's why the action is so high. Even though it had a little bridge back there, that little bolt was the little bridge. And look how close the strings are to the box. If you can see it, my camera's going in and out of focus. But it's very, very close. And the action's real high, which isn't too bad because it was a fretless guitar and you're playing slide guitar with it anyway. But the action was crazy high and also if you come down here the nut is very high and it was hard to keep this thing in tune because I didn't put any eyelets here to bring these strings down some to give them more of a more of an angle so you can see that the strings there's not much of a break from the top of the nut to where the strings are on the tuning pegs so it was very hard to keep this thing in tune I also cut the hole for the box a little too big in the back you can see I added a little piece of wood right here and it did not come with a piezo pickup I later added one and added a little jack plate there made from the ruler and that was my first guitar after this first cigar box guitar I made from the kit, I decided to make another one, one I could actually play. So I did. And then I made another one, and another one, and so on, and so on. And now I can't stop. Can I get a witness? I'm your witness. It's true. He can't stop. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about string height on my cigar box guitars. First of all, let me say that I don't use any type of scientific formula to calculate my string height. What I do use is the eye. This is one of my recent guitars right here, the Double Lot Buck. I did shoot that with a 12 gauge shotgun with buckshot. Anyway, let's look at the action on this. Now you can see it. If I turn the guitar this way, action looks good. You can see how much room I got between the box and the strings. And right at the 12th fret, I'm about 5 millimeters on the 12th fret. And that's pretty good. I mean, I don't like to get too much lower than that. Four, four is okay as well. But you don't want to go any lower than that because if you're playing slide with it, you'll get a lot of 
clanking against the frets and all that if you're if you're playing slide I do anyway now what I usually do to achieve that action and let me just say one thing the neck I have a straight neck I don't have any type of back angle on the back or tilted uh, in either direction it's just in there straight you can see my nut here is a little bolt and you can see about how deep I have the notch out for the nut which is about two millimeters and I just cut this out with a fretting saw I did a video on how I did that I will post that at the top now this guitar here doesn't have a separate fretboard on the top the frets are just directly onto the neck right there but you'll see the fretboard or the fingerboard is above the box top and that's about a quarter inch or so, about a quarter inch, which gives me that action. Now my bridge over here, which is the little piece of wood with the fret wire, this, the height of this is about a half inch. And then I put the fret wire in the top. And when you finish your guitar, if you see that your action is a little high, you can always take your bridge out and just sand it down on the bottom to make your bridge a little shorter and it'll bring your action down on the rest of the neck. Also, instead of using a little screw or bolt here for your nut, if you used a zero fret, which would be a jumbo fret here that will also bring your action down a little more as well. But my rule of thumb is the fingerboard or fretboard, neck, whatever, is above the box a quarter inch. And then I do the adjusting with the bridge if I need to. Well, that's pretty much how I set the string height on my cigar box guitars. And speaking of string height, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more cigar box guitar videos. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. How about a little music outro? What do you say, Buster? <laughs>